What is going on everybody? This is your boy James Jim Chuck Chico. Man, if you're watching this video, that means you've made it through the first month of your training endeavor, of your fitness endeavor, man. That means you've booked your sessions, you've showed up, you've put in 30 days worth of work so far of working out, stretching, starting to eat better, starting to drink more water. Congratulations, you made it further than 60% of other people that start this journey. Most people quit after two weeks, 14 days. They don't see change, they, oh man, it's not working, man. Man, I've been working out and I'm not seeing any change. I'm not, I don't have any more energy. If anything, I'm more tired. The journey's gonna go down before it goes up, guys. And these first 30 days are crucial. What have we learned? We've learned to show up on time. We're starting to build the discipline of working out every other day or every couple days. Learning the discipline of taking care of ourselves on the off days, stretching, going for a walk, staying active, starting to push our life in the direction of living that lifestyle. Not only that, but on the nutritional side, what are we buying when we go to the grocery store? Are we leaving the, the Twinkies out of the cart? Are we getting better sources of proteins, right? In your nutrition program, you've seen different sources of proteins based off of what you need. Now, by now, you probably know how to shop and where you like to shop for that based off of budget and all that. You've learned the best times for us to get our carbohydrates. We've learned about eating healthy fats and staying more hydrated, okay? That was a lot of stuff in the first 30 days and you guys made it through. That's a big deal, man. Hold on to that and carry that into the next 30 days. Something to expect out of the next 30 days is continual change, right? Your workouts are gonna change a little bit. The intensity is gonna go up, right? That's to be expected. Never gets easier, but we get stronger, right? Nutrition. If it ain't broke, we ain't gonna fix it. If we're still seeing results, with that first bit of nutrition programming, we're gonna continue that and continue building those habits. Now, going into these next 60 days, there's two things I want you to lock down. Number one, hydration. If it was hard for you to get water before, I want you by day 60 to at least be getting a half a gallon to three quarters of a gallon a day. Staying hydrated, guys. It's super crucial for a bunch of different reasons. Just trust me. We'll go into detail in person. Number two, cutting out the bullshit. No more late night snacking. Everyone's got bullshit, regardless of what it is. Whether it's late night snacking, having a sweet tooth, uh, having a savory tooth, you like salty stuff. Uh, alcohol is a big one. Um, binging on food. Um, all this snacking even throughout the whole day. Sometimes people snack all day long. Everyone's got something, guys. Okay. It is time after these first 30 days, if it's not done, to get that done in the next 30 days. By day 60, I want all bad habits cut. You don't have to have all the new ones fully implemented yet. It's okay, I understand baby steps, but start cutting out the bullshit. Whether that's chips, or if it's freaking crackers with dinner, again, late night snacking, sweet tooths, all that stuff. Okay, now I'm talking from experience too, man. I got a sweet tooth. I'll, I could eat a pint of Jerry's, uh, I could eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's every damn night, okay? But I don't. Good for the taste buds, not for the waistline. You know what I'm saying? So, these next 30 days are crucial in that we lock down our hydration, we lock down the bad habits, and then after that we can start really, really dialing in our nutrition and weighing out food and all that good stuff, okay? Congratulations on making it the first 30 days. Let's roll right into the next 60.